Japanese Grand Prix. Third for Scuderia Ferrari Marlborough, Kimi Raikkonen. Second for Vodafone McLaren Mercedes, Fernando Alonso. And heading Vodafone McLaren Mercedes, fifth front row of the season with his fourth pole of the season, Lewis Hamilton. Lewis, a perfectly timed Q3 by the look of it, out on that <laughs> second set of tyres right at the end there. But at the end of the lap, had to pass a car on the straightaway just before the start-finish line. Yeah, it was, um, it was a good session for us. You know, the whole weekend has started off a little bit better than others. And, um, you know, we, we, we had a good car today. It was, you know, it's quite tricky conditions out there. We, we don't know the track in the wet. We didn't get any practice this morning. And uh, we're very, very fortunate. The team did a good job, a fantastic job making the, the setup right. And, um, you know, when you're out there, you don't really know where you are. It's, you know, you only have your pit board. It's difficult to know the gap, how much time is left. And, uh, you know, they just timed it to perfection. And uh, I made the best use of it. Well, yes, and, and using the two sets of tyres, which was unusual in that, in the wet conditions. What was the, what was the lap like, that pole lap? And talk about that business of, of coming onto the pit straight and seeing that car, slow yeah. car right by you. It was all right. It was all right. <laughs> no, it was quite a good lap. I was happy with it, obviously. I knew coming across the line, this is the last chance I'm probably going to have. And um, I just improved and brushed and cleaned up a, a couple of corners where I'd made mistakes previously. And, um, you know, I lost a little bit of time on the exit of the last corner. Um, and then, obviously, I didn't know what the Ferrari, what I think it was Kimi or Felipe, I'm not really sure which one. I think they just uh, decided to do another lap. And um, But that didn't really get in my way. I managed to come across the line ahead. And uh, I could see it on the on the pit wall, the old pit, you know, um, paddock club there as a, a TV up there and I could see me coming across the line and so before my my team even told me I knew and so you can imagine punching here well we lost the session this morning because of the the fog your feelings about the performance of the car let's talk about it in dry conditions on the assumption that the race might be dry well I hope it's wet um, but I'm not really bothered either way obviously yesterday we were um, quickest in the second practice and we were very very comfortable with the balance of the car and um, yeah, we know the team have been working as hard as always to to improve, and we've we've come here, made another step forward, and um, you know, we're here to to challenge the Ferraris. And I think, obviously, starting where we are, it could be uh, changeable conditions tomorrow. I think it'll be exciting. We have to wait and see. Sure, it will be. Congratulations Thank to you, you, Lewis. Fernando, you were quickest for a while in Q3 there, and very competitive, obviously, throughout the three sessions. What was it like from your point of view? And you did come in relatively. Uh, late for that first set of tyres. Yeah, it was it was okay for me. Obviously, I like uh, wet conditions, and uh, you know, I enjoy today driving here in, in Fuji for the first time in in these conditions. And uh, you know, everything was was going well. And uh, you know, at the end, okay, uh, we are not on pole, but we are in the first row. So you know, it's very very important for the for the race. And uh, you know, I'm very very happy with with the performance today from from the car. You predicted in Spa that the McLaren Mercedes would be very, very competitive here against the Ferrari. Can you talk a bit about how that is affected by the wet and the dry, how that uh, competitive edge goes? I think uh, we saw, uh, you know, very tight time lapse yesterday, very close between uh, the two teams. And uh, today in qualifying, we are also in two tenths, I think, all four drivers. So. At the end, I think between dry and wet conditions, it doesn't change too much uh, the 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 battle between the two teams. And uh, you know, uh, as we saw today, I think it's extremely close. And maybe in qualifying, we have a little bit of advantage in the race. Maybe we struggle a little bit more, but uh, we see tomorrow. Congratulations, Fernando. Okay. Kimi, we saw you have a couple of moments there in the wet. What was the what was the Ferrari like? in those conditions? Um, it was OK, actually, not too bad. Um, yeah, that's the curb through times, but it didn't really affect the lap. Uh, I had the traffic on the last lap, and then I needed to back off. But anyhow, we had a small problem on the gearbox, so for sure we can fix it for tomorrow. And uh, I think so, we're in a good shape. Uh, you, you don't know really what, what kind of weather we're going to have tomorrow, but it's the same for everybody. I think so we should have a good good car for any any kind of uh, weather conditions. And Ferrari less competitive on Friday afternoon than they appeared to be in the morning, perhaps due to setup changes. You weren't able to verify that with the loss of the of the session on Saturday morning. How does that place you going into the race now? Um, no, I think so. We are pretty close for um, Friday morning, so it should be okay. 
Okay, the circuit's gonna be different after the rain, but uh, maybe it rains tomorrow, so we wait and see. But uh, I'm confident that we have a good car in the race, and it's gonna be, I think so, tight uh, race between the uh, all, all four cars. Thank you, Kimmy. And now just returning to you, Lewis, for final thoughts. You're a rookie, we've got to keep reminding ourselves of that, but the pressure must be intense where you are at the moment. No, I'm quite relaxed, if I'm really honest. Um, and with, uh, you know, with the way that this weekend's gone, I feel even more relaxed. And uh, I'm in the perfect position, obviously. I've got these two breathing down my neck, and uh, but I'm not really too bothered again. You know, I just feel that the, the car's underneath me this weekend. You know, we'll see. Tomorrow's going to be a tough battle. We're all, obviously, we're all extremely close in time. Um, but the key is going to be going to be getting down to the first corner, and um, you know, leave him. We look forward to it. Now, if we could have some words from uh, Fernando and Kimi in their own language, starting with Fernando in Spanish. Ha sido un día complicado por por la niebla de por la mañana que no pudimos entrenar en la sesión libre y salimos a la crono prácticamente sin sin conocer el circuito en, en estas condiciones de, de mojado. Y bueno, ha sido una, una crono bastante buena. Eh, he estado siempre en, entre los primeros y, y bueno, ojalá que, que llueva mañana también porque parece que, que puedo ir bastante rápido. Al final, en el último juego de neumáticos perdí la, la, la primera plaza que, que tenía antes de, de ese juego de neumáticos. Se me va un pelín de atrás demasiado, pero, pero bueno, eh, también cuando fuerzas al máximo pues se encuentran más problemas. Pero bueno, lo dicho, no pude mejorar lo suficiente para estar en la pole, pero estar en la primera línea es más que suficiente para, para luchar mañana por la victoria. Era lo que queríamos y, y ahí estamos. Gracias. And Kimi in Finnish. No, ei ihan hyvä aika, että tietenkin olisi voinut olla parempikin sijoitus, mutta pieni ongelma vaihdelaatikon kanssa, että eikä me pystytä huomenna, huomenna korjaa se tai huomiseksi korjaa. Ja auto tuntuu ihan hyvältä, että tietenkin riippuu paljon kellistä, millainen huomenna, mutta kyllä mä uskon, että mikä keli vaan sopii meille, että meillä pitäisi olla ihan hyvä pakettikisa. Thank you, gentlemen.